Now we are going to discuss dynamic testing versus static testing. The first point of difference is static testing is done without execution of code, whereas in dynamic testing, we are executing the code. Let's try to illustrate this with an example. Let us say that we have a customer requirement that states, window shall move up when the up button is pressed and shall move down when the down button is pressed. To fulfill this requirement, you have to write a code for it. Now, suppose a developer has written this particular code. This is a function where he's trying to implement the customer's requirement. When button is pressed, if button up, then move up, otherwise move down. Our task as a tester is to check whether this piece of code is satisfying the requirement or not, and this type of testing is known as static testing. So let's try to test this particular code. Here, it's saying that if up button is pressed, then move up, but if up button is not pressed, then move down. If you execute this code, then the window will never stop moving. It will move up if you press the up button, but the moment you release the button, it will keep on moving down. This means that this code is failing to fulfill the requirement. So this is how we find defects through static testing. So why do we call this static? Because when I was performing this test, this code was not moving. It was in one place. This is why this type of testing is called static testing. So that's it for static testing. Now moving on to the dynamic part. Dynamic testing requires you to study the behavior. Here, if you press the down button, then the window moves down. You aren't bothered about the code or how it is written. When you press the up button, window will move up. And when you press the down button, it will slide down. Here, what you need to remember is static testing is carried out without the execution of code while dynamic testing requires execution of code. Now, let's move to point two in their difference. Static testing is conducted in the verification stage, whereas dynamic testing is performed in the validation stage. Let's find out what they mean by verification stage and validation stage. So here we have the life cycle of a software development activity. First, you will have a user requirement. Next, a system requirement. Then, a global requirement. Then, you will have a detailed design. Once you have this design, then you can start writing the code. Now, static testing is done in the early stage, when we only have the document. As you can see, we don't have the code here. And if we don't have a code, we can't run a software. When we have only documents, then we can only perform a static testing. We can carry out a verification. We can't run the code. So these are the two stages. The first part is for static testing, but once the code is ready, you can perform the dynamic testing, because now you can run the code. This is why static testing is done in the verification stage, whereas dynamic testing is done in the validation stage. So once you have the code available, you can perform the dynamic testing. Otherwise, it's not possible. Now we move to the third difference. Static testing is cost-effective, whereas dynamic testing is less cost-effective. Let's try to understand this. As we saw in this diagram, let's assume you were in the requirements stage and you found defect here. Since you found the defect in the same stage, cost to fix the defect is less. 
But during dynamic testing, you are all the way over here. And if you find fault here, and after analysis you found the requirement is wrong, then you have to change all these documents. This will require more people to solve problems, and cost to fix defect will increase. So this is the reason we said that static testing is cost-effective, while dynamic testing is less cost-effective. Before we end this video, let's have a look into the important points. The first point is, static testing is conducted without execution of code. Dynamic testing requires execution of code. The second point is, static testing is performed in the verification stage, whereas dynamic testing is performed in the validation stage. The third point is, static testing is cost-effective, while dynamic testing is less cost-effective. There is a fourth point about examples that I want to add here. Static testing examples are walkthroughs and code reviews, whereas with dynamic testing you have to perform functional or non-functional tests. This was the summary of what we covered in this video. See you next time!